Christine, you joined us in October last year. Uh, you sit right next to us uh, in our office, in our Gründer Senior office, but you're working for Eureka as an editor. Uh, could you describe why is it interesting to, to write in English about the German startup scene? There are so many people who come to Berlin to work for a startup um, without the actual language skills, unable to speak German. Um, so having a place that they can go, get some information about what German culture is like, what's happening in the startup environment, um, is really important to them to feel like they're part of it, um, part of the Berlin ecosystem. So that's the audience that we're trying to reach. So what are the main topics uh, or issues you're writing about? We write about a number of different things. Um, some of it's more playful, uh, like things you would want to know if you were going to move to Germany. Um, Example? Uh, cash is king. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, of course, things about um, the German market. Uh, we did a really in-depth piece looking at drones um, and how many German startups are actually incorporating them. So. And what is the connection between Eureka and Gründerszene? Um, well, they both are underneath vertical media. Um, and every now and then, if we find a piece that Gründerszene does that's interesting for our readers, um, we'll trade off. Um, mm. But for the most part, the, the, the reporting is uh, pretty independent from one another. So for example, you wrote about clean tech startups, five of them. Why is a topic like this interesting for, for your readers? It's a nice condensed way to present what's going on in the ecosystem um, without having to read 10 different articles or figuring out. So it's just consolidated, it's concise, um, and it gives a really good spectrum. Um, so those fast pieces are really of interest. Thank you, Christine. Yeah.